had a really very successful experience in, with Georgian Chess Federation organizing the ACP Women's Cup in February in Delhi. And after it was organized, it actually was, got a lot of attention from mass media, especially in Georgia. And we had a meeting with the Georgian Minister of Sports and Years, and I suggested that we organize a Women's World Championship in Batumi, or in the Lisi, they prefer to have it in Batumi. And we started rolling the things, and uh, I want to also thank the Georgian Chess Federation, which actually made most of the heavy, difficult technical job. My mind task was uh, a bit different. I had to contact players. I had to t take care about the uh, coverage. We contacted all the federations, but of course, the local organization was most burden of the National Chess Federation, and they succeeded. We see it's it played in absolutely great surroundings. We we'll play here in Sheraton Hotel, and the playing hall is very good. So we, we are really happy. Why, uh, as a president, uh, ICP president, you decided to be more involved in women chess? No, it's not quite true. It's, uh, women chess uh, is our first priority. It's just it was easier to start with, honestly, because as we all know, the, the prize funds in, in women competitions are significantly lower. So it was easier to immediately come. If you, if you know, the new board came in power, and I was elected president just five months ago, and it was very difficult to, to come immediately with a few hundred thousand. Uh, dollars a euro for, for men's event. And for women, we, we succeeded from the very beginning, uh, just uh, a month after after the, the new board came in power. It was a police an event which was what had the highest price fund in women's history for rapid chess. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that we, we will only <laughs> concentrate on women's chess, not at all. What's more, I can tell you that before the end of this year, we will have at least one men's tournament, and maybe we'll have two men's tournaments. For, for the ACP, it would be for our members because okay, we cannot, we are not the organization who can focus on something. We, we try thinking globally and trying to, to expand. So, Emil, for people who ignore what is uh, ACP, can you explain, generally speaking, is it uh, an association of professional players? Are you organization of tournaments? What is exactly okay. ACP? I think uh, it would be very difficult to ignore us because we are doing quite a lot of work recently. Uh, basically, it's organization chess professionals, not only players. We have uh, chess organizers, uh, a lot of uh, important chess organizers from all over the world are our members, and uh, the organizer of the best tournament in the world, Bay Kanze, here in Vandenberg, is a board member of the ACP. We have a lot of chess arbiters, chess journalists, chess writers, and whatever as our members. So it's not only about players, but of course mostly about players. We have two very different things which we took care of, which are our major focus. One is organizing of tour tournaments, of course, providing new fields for a tournament, and those who follow our events, they can see that they are quite different from other events we try to be special and it is on high level. But the second, we also help the players uh, with all the so-called juridical things. I mean, for example, now working with FIDE on the Grand Prix regulations, I'm in constant touch with all top players and I have to say that everybody, almost all top, top players are our members and of course we, we try to, to help them, to protect them, to give them better advice and uh, communicating with FIDE and Aegon, uh, trying to, to protect their rights, uh, trying to work uh, hard to have a high price funds and, and so on. We also help players of the lower levels. For example, we, we manage now to to push through the decision to have uh, the European champ individual championship to have a higher price fund, minimum price fund to be set on 150,000 euro starting 2014. So uh, there are things which can be done also in regards to the top, very top players and some players which are might be not the top, but 2,500, 2,600 players who really can, we, whom, whom we really can help. You also uh, helped, I think, in Plovdiv, uh, some players to have some kind of discount for hotel. Yes, this, this we also negotiated. We tried to negotiate. It was a case with with the Plovdiv European Championship to get our members uh, the, the discount for hotels. But it's not the main thing. It's it's some little things which we help. We let's say if some players have problems with the organizers, they didn't have the fee paid in time or something like that. They contact us and we contact the organizer. It was already a few cases like that and so the, the things are resolved. But once again, two major things are organization of really good tournaments with a uh, level of organization would, would distinguish our events and the protecting players' rights, 
players' play rights. What is the next big move of uh, ACP? Is it uh, some maybe world championship? I spoke yesterday with uh, uh, Sokar uh, Mamadov. He said that his dream would be to organize the world women championship uh, in uh, in Georgia. What's your opinion about it? I think we, we, we will be expanding in the different directions. First of all, today we have 900 members, which include, as I said, nearly all the top players and a lot of uh, important people in the chess world from 80, 81 countries. So it is. We work a lot with national federations. It is also very important. We have strategic uh, agreements with Georgian Federation, French, Turkish, uh, Chinese, Israeli. So these are helping us. Now for the next stage, I think we would like to make something that would benefit a lot of our members to make some sort of, maybe just ACP championship so far. Uh, World Championship is, is something that it's, it is uh, under the feeders, uh, I, I guess, yeah. so, so uh, we cannot and we do not intend to stage a parallel championship. However, we do work closely with FIDE, and if we manage to, to get a proper prize fund and so on, so they would, uh, I think they would go towards us and, and would give the, the name, the official World Championship name to us. But anyways, we, we keep our independent view on, on many problems and it's very important because sometimes players suffer from some decisions which are taking, taken bluntly without advising anyone and so on. We, we work with FIDE on that and I already underlined that we, we, had, we have to, to get a feedback from, from it. it. It couldn't come just FIDE has decided something for that. Now they, they're much more cooperative. We work with them, we, have the, we submit our proposals, and uh, actually the situation is improving. You can see many tournaments now are rolling on, and the uh, overall situation is improved. Mm -hmm. And I think one, one of the ACP's uh, things which ACP has to do is really to, to, to try and to work with all important chess bodies and to improve global chess situation. Not to claim that we, we, we are against these or we are together with that. No, we have to, to find our, uh, our niche. To, 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 and to, after all, the most important thing for us is to improve the players' condition, and not only the top players, not only the women players, but overall the players and just professionals' conditions. Mm -hmm. As for, we're not politicians like in any other, let's say, I wouldn't call this bodies, but everybody. Else. So we, we try to work this way, and I think we succeed so far. We, we have a lot of feedback from the players that uh, really saw the difference uh, within the last five months. So this is as things are rolling, and I think uh, it's just the beginning. We will do much more, and I hope we'll succeed. So, is it your let's say main job? Because we see so far that since five months you have a new website, and it's moving quite uh, quite fast. Yes, our new website is, is I think is a very beautiful one, and it's working good. Uh, it was uh, Olyan and Balitsun who, who, who led this project. Uh, okay, I, I, I did. I decided it should be someone from our board who would take the project on himself, but and it's, as she was the one with most experience in this field, she took it on herself. We also published a very nice brochure, I don't know if you've got it in English and in Russian. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's presentational. We, because it's also part of our uh, priorities, which I didn't mention earlier, is, is working with mass media and the sponsors. Let's say our event in Tbilisi was very, very heavily covered in, in, uh, in Russian mass media outside of chess, not the chess media, but the outside and even not the sports media. I can tell you that the coverage of the Tbilisi event was comparable, that's, that's it, but comparable with the coverage of uh, Anand Gelfand in the Russian media. I, How I, many yes. viewers do you have? Do you know some uh, statistics? I don't mean the official website, I mean the sport, uh, uh, well, it was, it was on all major sports sites, sport websites, and it was on a few quite important websites. So it is something that we really work closely on. And also working with, with the sponsors, with the big companies, I do not want to, to, to name now the brands, because they are known to, to everyone, but uh, uh, because we don't have yet the agreement signed, but we are very uh, on the very advanced stage, and I think we will succeed. Uh, what's more, if we talk about the, our aims and what we do and what I do, uh, I don't stop playing chess, I don't quit chess because, uh, first of all, I just love playing chess. Mm -hmm. And uh, was it, whenever my results are good or bad, I think one can see from my games that I love playing chess.
<laughs> so I, I do not intend to quit, but unfortunately I have to say that yeah, working uh, and promoting uh, all these ideas, it, it takes quite a time. And also I'm used to, to wake up at 5.30 and to work till, till late. And I feel myself self as a workaholic. Sometimes I feel that uh, I do need a bit more time. I'll try to, to, use, to, use, to use time more uh, sophisticatedly. Let's see. I, I, once again, the Olympiad is very important this year as a European Club Cup. And I shall not be present there as a president of the ACP, but as a player. So mm -hmm. it's, of course, very important. And uh, I'll, I'll try to, to get in my best shape. So my last question will be, uh, as a GM, you saw the games of this uh, Rapid yesterday, three first uh, games, who was the most impressive, who is your favorite to win the World Rapid and the World Blitz, of course, if you have a favorite. Uh, well, uh, I was very surprised with the high level of play. I mean, it, I don't know, maybe, maybe I didn't understand something what's going on, but as far as I saw, some games were incredibly interesting and good. Uh, Maria Muzicu had a fantastic game against Nona Gabriendashvili, just a very beautiful game. And uh, Alexander Kostinyuk won a very powerful game against Anna Muzicu. Just I, I stood there and I mean every single move which I thought is the strongest she found. And she found also the move which I didn't find. So, so she, she was uh, showing really high level. So I think Alexander Kostinyuk, if she continues to play this way, she'll be a contender for top three at least. But once again, the competition is very strong, as we see nearly all the strongest players are here. Of course, Judith is not here. You, I, I saw your report is saying seven out of ten, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't count Judith, because Judith is never playing with women, so we can't do anything about that. But, uh, and only two Chinese players are basically missing, and we, they couldn't make uh, who you find she wanted to come, and uh, I spoke with the Federation, and we have very good contacts with Chinese Czech Federation. But unfortunately, this event in China that assembled ten strongest rating players in, in China, she had to be present and play. So, and she's playing, and hence she's missing. But otherwise, the, uh, the field is very strong, five world champions. And I don't know, it's, it's about 17 or 18 Olympic champions, actually, because we, we wanted to have it also the, the field as broad as possible in this regard. So, hard, hard to name favorites indeed, but a uh, few games already were impressive, and uh, I'm sure that many people will enjoy it. Okay, thanks.